if you are new here my name is Natasha and I am your favorite natural hair guru please consider subscribing and joining our grow our hair while having fun family which is not a thing but we're gonna make it anyway if you're a returning subscriber hello what did you do? thank you for the support thank you for coming back and thank you for picking this channel so as you can see your girl got her hair braided yes I braided it myself if you don't know how I do it I will insert a video just somewhere up here and you guys can go check it out and yeah so as you can tell from the title today I'm bringing you guys four hairstyles that ruin your natural hair okay so watch till the end to find the worst one and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys I know that 76% of you guys watching my videos have not subscribed like go subscribe okay Alright, so I'll try to um, insert pictures for every hairstyle that I mention, um, if I can find the most appropriate picture. Uh, the first hairstyle that I want to give to you guys is your high puffs, your high ponytails, your high everything. This hairstyle kills your hairline. It kills your hairline. It snatches your hairline literally all the time. And I am guilty of that because I do high puffs. They're like the go-to natural hairstyle. So yeah, the thing is, your hair if it's really dry, and if you don't, if you do the hairstyle for like a bit too long, you know, that's when it gets like that's when it goes wrong. So your high puff, your tight ponytails. So when you do your high puff, make sure that you don't make them as tight because yeah they're gonna kill your your hairline and they're gonna definitely definitely ruin your hair strands so that is hairstyle number one and if you are guilty of any of these hairstyles guys please comment down below okay let us talk let's interact i want to know what you guys are thinking if there are any hairstyles that i may have left out do let me know down below okay all right okay so the second hairstyle hairstyle number two as the glue on wigs personally i have no experience with 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 that i don't know how it works but i do know that there is no way that you can glue something onto your hair and when you remove it it moves with absolutely not even a single strand of hair no hell no i know that for a fact that when you put on glue onto your hair when you remove it, it's gotta move with some, you know. So, obviously, your your hairline, your hairline, babes, is suffering from all that glue on wigs. I have no experience whatsoever. I'm not guilty of that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, don't. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying don't do it as frequently as you do. Okay. Okay. So, hairstyle number three yeah hairstyle number three is your straight backs guys i cannot emphasize how important it is to learn to do your own hair as a natural um mainly because when you go to the salon they blow dry your hair right that's already like strike one for me that is already strike one i cannot i do not blow dry my hair i have never stretched out my hair with heat since in the past six years of me being natural i've never right okay so they stretch they stretch out your hair with heat right that's number one number two if you do those straight backs you know man you know they start right here oh it really hurts you know they start right here and over time this front part kind of like lifts up and guess what your hairline does that too <laughs> not funny okay so I've never done a straight back personally I am not guilty of that hairstyle I do not know but I know it's bad for you <laughs> and also your your hair with the hair piece it kind of like grows some whitish stuff when your hair is like really dry and like over a long time so straight backs are kind of like not ideal but you can however tell the hairstylist to start it just right after your hairline just just to be safe okay now the fourth and the final hairstyle is micro braids guys even 
even the picture says it for itself like it talks for itself like who okay not who does that because i personally know people who do that but one the there's so many things wrong with that picture there's so many things wrong with that hairstyle because not only do you do they start like literally where your hair starts but you stay with them for like four months oh come on that has got to be a joke who stays with a hairstyle for four months and you think that is good for your hair why would you do that like honestly why would you do that you know so micro braids are just don't do that honestly these other hairstyles i'm saying do them but don't do them as frequently but this one i'm saying don't don't do it don't do it like those tiny 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 ah uh, ah uh. oh my gosh i just i can't stress this enough those that hairstyle is just and I, I don't even know honestly don't do that so the advantage about braiding your own hair is that if you look at the way i braided my hair the front section is kind of safe so i made sure that my braids start a little bit at the back and that was purely my decision i did not stretch out my hair i did not chow my um what do you call my hairline so yeah that is i will make a video and tell you guys about the advantages of learning how to do your own hair as a natural because eventually your hair is gonna grow to a certain length where you can't afford to blow dry it anymore because you lose more hair than it does good for your hair does that make sense that probably doesn't make sense but it's fine if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below tell me which hairstyles you are guilty of because i know you are guilty of at least one if not two of these and yeah comment down below let's interact and please 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 do subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye